This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We are here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilkes. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story this evening, the search continues for the suspect who robbed a Bradenton shoe store last week. Video from that store has just been released and it shows exactly what happened. ABC 7's Rick Adams has the latest. Well, the robbery took place right back there at the Payless Shoe Store. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office is hopeful that a video that was just released will help lead them to the suspect. Take a look at this video from inside the Payless Shoe Store in Bradenton. It shows a man going behind the counter and demanding money from the female worker, indicating that he was armed. He would run off with an undisclosed amount of money. Bernadette is a Bradenton resident who occasionally shops at the strip mall. She was shocked to hear about this robbery. Pretty nervous. I mean, that's sad to hear that that's going on in this area. This robbery also makes Justin Doherty a little nervous. He's an assistant general manager at Firehouse Subs, which is near Payless Shoes. Obviously, you know, when I'm looking after my employees as well, I was concerned for their safety. Because, I mean, it was just a couple stores down. So, I mean, we just want to make sure everyone just locks their doors in the morning if you're not open yet. Uh, just use extra precautions, never walk out alone. The robbery at Payless Shoes did happen in broad daylight just after 10 o'clock last Wednesday morning. The suspect is described as a white male in his late 40s to early 50s, 5 feet 7 inches tall with a slim build and graying hair. And if you do recognize the suspect, you're being asked to contact the Manatee County Sheriff's Office immediately. Reporting from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Rick. It's not the first tough fight he's had to endure. Doctors say Arizona Senator John McCain has been diagnosed with a brain tumor. After having a blood clot removed above his left eye last week, he learned he had glioblastoma. The 80-year-old senator and his family are reviewing further treatment with what doctors call an aggressive cancer. Officials say McCain is recovering from his blood clot surgery amazingly well, and his underlying health is excellent. McCain was the GOP presidential nominee in 2008. Officials from Longboat Key are continuing their discussion about the possibility of becoming one county. Currently, the 10-mile stretch of the island is split into two counties, Sarasota and Manatee. Because of the two-county arrangement, Longboat Key has two tax collectors, two different court systems, two property appraisers, two election supervisors, and two different property tax rates. Those who live on the Manatee County side of Longboat Key pay about $2.5 million more a year in property taxes than those on the Sarasota County part of the key. It is a little bit of an administrative burden. We've become accustomed to it because it's been that way forever, so our systems uh, do accommodate it. But, but the most important element is what are our citizens' experience? And there's no question they're experiencing different taxes depending on where you live for the same services. Town officials say they will eventually have to talk about this two-county issue with the Florida State Legislature because they are the ones who will have the final say. Officials tell us it's a process that can take many years before anything happens. And now for a check on our forecast, we're going to head over to Steve, who is in for Bob tonight. Hi, Haley. We've had some strong storms not only before dawn this morning and during the afternoon, but they're gone now, moving off the Atlantic coast. The last lingering batch of those storms wound up over Tampa, right over uh, Tampa at MacDill Air Force Base, but they have diminished as well. And along the Sun Coast tonight, you can see not a storm to be had. But by dawn, I think they're going to start building out through here and move inland, giving us another chance of morning storms. By satellite, you can see the moisture and all those clouds that brought the storms earlier moving off into the Atlantic with mainly fair skies in the wake. Now here's our uh, future cast through the night in high resolution for the next 18 hours and it shows uh, pretty much light and variable winds with the storms moving away but look what happens overnight right about dawn those storms look like they're going to be building out of the Gulf of Mexico as they did this morning at 5 a.m. and then we could have more storms right on through the morning and another batch in the afternoon. That's the pattern we've had for the last two days. I see no reason for that to change. Temperatures cooling off into the mid and upper 70s tonight and a chance of rain pretty much nil all night long, but boy, is it going to go up in the morning. The complete forecast and tropical weather outlook, Haley, coming up in just a few minutes. 
Thank you, Steve. The 2004 kidnapping and murder of a Sarasota girl, Carly Brucia, got national attention after her abduction was captured on surveillance video. And now her convicted killer's death sentence has been overturned. Joseph Smith was convicted in the 11-year-old's murder and then sentenced to death. Now, due to a state law requiring a unanimous verdict for a death sentence, Smith is getting a new sentencing trial. According to a criminal defense attorney, that may be an uphill battle for the state. Recent uh, death penalty cases in this area have not been able to obtain a unanimous verdict. They're going to have to reconstruct the emotion and the information that was put forth in the penalty phase of that first trial. A new sentencing phase could begin in Sarasota in as soon as nine months. It was a signature campaign promise for President Trump repealing and replacing Obamacare. Earlier this week, he said he was willing to let Obamacare fail. Tonight, the president is telling senators he wants them to stay in Washington into their August recess and hash out a deal. ABC's Megan Hughes has more from Washington. Chaos on Capitol Hill as protesters swarm Republican offices pushing against repeal. More than 150 of them arrested. Oh, there is a human right tonight. Late Wednesday night, behind closed doors, the vice president and administration officials try to flip GOP members to yes. The president making a broader pitch to all GOP senators over a White House lunch, asking them to stay into their August recess to get to a deal, and making a veiled threat to Senator Heller of Nevada, seated right next to him. Look, he wants to remain a senator, doesn't he? Also reminding them they voted more than 60 times to repeal all or part of Obamacare while Obama was in office. For seven years, you had an easy route. We'll repeal, we'll replace, and he's never going to sign it. But I'm signing it. So it's a little bit different. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell indicating a vote would happen next week, but unclear if it would be the replacement package the president is pushing or a standalone repeal. We could have a vote on either. The Congressional Budget Office late Wednesday releasing its estimates of what a standalone repeal bill would mean. It projects 32 million more uninsured Americans over the next decade than if Obamacare were to stay put. For the Senate replacement measure, that number was 22 million. Megan Hughes, ABC News, Washington. A decision that could change the balance of the Florida Supreme Court for decades. Governor Rick Scott is asking the state's top court to throw out a lawsuit that stops him from appointing three Supreme Court justices on the day he leaves office. In response to a lawsuit filed last month, the filing with the Supreme Court of Florida asserts that the lawsuit, lawsuit should be rejected because it deals with something that may or may not happen in 2019. When age limits force three justices to retire on the day Scott leaves office in January. Scott says he plans to name their replacements that same morning. Of course, that is up in the air. Risky. Not exactly the word you want to hear associated with a rocket launch, but that's how SpaceX's chief described the first launch of its new, the big new rocket set for a flight later this year from Cape Canaveral. The Falcon Heavy will have three boosters instead of one and 27 engines instead of nine, all of which must ignite simultaneously. No one will be aboard those initial flights, but when it comes time to add people, which is expected to come as soon as 2018, the company says that it will have to be brave. Straight ahead, meteorologist Steve Newman will be back with the official Suncoast forecast. Plus, looking to the Suncoast future, the next phase in developing Sarasota's Bayfront. 911 call transcripts released of the calls made by a Minneapolis bride-to-be moments before she was shot to death by a responding officer. When my youngest Addie was two and a half, she was diagnosed with leukemia. When we first heard that diagnosis, you feel extremely alone. Walking in that light the night light with 6,000 people carrying lights, white for survivors, red for supporters, gold in memory of those who have passed. It's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's hope that every year there are fewer gold lanterns. Your lantern will make a difference. Start a team, join a team. Help us light the night. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world. 
is at your feet. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now. Make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. We have had a string of beautiful sunsets True. one night after the next. And it's tonight so nice. was spectacular. 810, awesome. look at what our tower cam caught. These pictures came in. Absolutely, you can actually see the rays shooting out from the sun as it was setting out over the bay. Oh, there you there go. We now go. Look at that. It does not get much prettier than that. Another award winning sunset across the sun coast. Currently at the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport, the current temperature is cooled off to 78 degrees. Our dew point. 75 and the humidity 90 percent. There's an east southeasterly wind blowing at seven miles an hour and a high today and last night's low both pretty much on the mark being close to normal. Within one degree on both counts last night's low uh, record was 64 set back in 1923. High temperatures across the state today Panama City 91. In fact if you look all over the state pretty much in the upper 80s to low 90s across the sun coast while it was warmer in Highlands County in the low 90s there 92 at Lake Placid and Sebring, because of the storms that developed and the outflow, they actually had a cooler evening in the interior than we did right along the immediate coast. Take a look at radar. We had a lot of storms earlier, but right now we're not seeing any until you get to the Atlantic coast. And this is the pattern that we've seen all week, or at least since Monday. The storms form right along the coast and then move across the state and push off into the Atlantic by evening. It's because of that strong Bermuda high that's stretching right over Florida. It's controlling our weather pattern. It'll stay that way for the next few days. High uh, temperatures right now at this hour, it's 81 at Kansas City, 88 at Dallas. It was over 100 degrees in many spots right in the heartland. That's fueling some storms, especially up in Nebraska and parts of the Chicago metropolitan area. In fact, let's zoom in up there. You can see a lot of storms coming that moved over southern Minnesota earlier today, now brushing the Chicagoland area. Locally hail uh, has been reported in some spots, and this yellow area here is the severe thunderstorm watch area that extends back into uh, Iowa, parts of Iowa, which has also had some strong storms earlier tonight. And back in Nebraska for about four hours, this little stretch in the northern part of the state has seen a lot of strong storms. And there may be some more tomorrow, but a little further to the northeast. Our tropical weather outlook, things are calming down right across the uh, tropics, especially in the Atlantic where we have an easterly wave. We've looked at this for several days, but this is the, probably the last time I'll talk about it because it's moving into the middle Atlantic and really has no chance of developing at this point. Remnants of Tropical Storm Dawn moving along the northern coast of South America, washing out around uh, Bonaire and Curaçao. Uh, nothing much left of that. If we zoom back and look at the Caribbean, the rest of it, and the Gulf of Mexico, Still quiet and probably will remain that way as far in the future as our computer models can show us. 
Pacific's a different story, though. We had a former Category 4 Hurricane Fernanda that is now weakening a little bit as it's encountering cooler water is moving toward Hawaii. This is Tropical Storm Greg. We could have Tropical Storm Hillary form either here or here, but we're going to get named storms popping up out there for the next probably week or so. Now, here is the uh, future cast that takes us through the night. The clouds have moved on to the east of us, will be fair to partly cloudy. More storms in the morning, blowing across the state, bunching up along the Atlantic coast tomorrow afternoon. That's tomorrow, that looks Friday. Same thing happens. Storms bunching up on the Atlantic coast by late in the day. If you're going out on our Gulf of Mexico or Bay waters should be beautiful. If you don't encounter any thunderstorms, winds will be mild. Uh, smooth waters on the bay because of the lack of wind. The Gulf water temperatures cooled off a little bit to 87. It was about 89 about a week ago. The air temperature at the beach tomorrow, 89 as well with the UV index 11. My forecast for tonight calls for partly cloudy skies. Should be a really nice evening. 76, the overnight lows with calm winds. And tomorrow, it's going to be another hot, humid day. The heat index about 101 with a few storms in the area, not only in the morning, but in the afternoon and evening as well. Good chance of them. Here's your seven-day outlook. Shows that 50, 40% chance lasts right on through the weekend. However, Monday and Tuesday, that chance could go down just a little bit. Haley, I hope we don't hear that rattle of thunder at 5 a.m. again like we did this morning. All right. Thank you, Steve. New developments in a deadly police shooting of a bride-to-be in Minneapolis. She called police for help and was shot and killed just minutes later. ABC's Maggie Rooley has new information from those officers involved. The police shooting death of yoga and meditation teacher Justine Damon leaves a fiancé without his future wife and her family halfway around the world clinging to each other in grief. Now the Australian Prime Minister is demanding justice. I mean, how can... A, a woman out in the street in her pajamas seeking assistance from the police be shot like that. We're now getting a clearer picture of Damon's final minutes. Her late night call to 911 now seen for the first time in a transcript from police. I can hear someone out the back, she says. I'm not sure if she's having sex or being raped. Even calling back eight minutes later, worried that officers got the address wrong. An independent investigation reveals that officers Matthew Harity and Mohammed Noor responded. Harity was driving and tells investigators they were coming down the alley in search of a suspect with the squad car lights off when they were startled by a loud noise nearby. Damon approached the driver's side window and then Noor, in the passenger seat, fired his gun across the car and through the open driver's side window. 530 and According to Minneapolis TV station KARE, Harity was stunned when his partner opened fire. Nor has declined to be interviewed. He's entitled to uh, make that decision and uh, he has constitutional rights. Police say they also want to talk to another possible witness. The dash cam did not capture the shooting and the officer's body cameras were turned off. The district attorney says that instead of a grand jury, he will decide on his own if the officer involved should be prosecuted. Maggie Rooley, ABC News, New York. Florida Governor Rick Scott is cautioning university presidents over how they spend money allocated by the legislature. Scott sending letters to the presidents of 12 state universities regarding $120 million that was set aside for schools to revamp the state's higher education system. The governor says the money should be spent on initiatives that will help students avoid debt and help them get a job and warning the money may not be set aside next year. The plan to transform 42 acres of city land along Sarasota's Bayfront has now reached its next phase of master planning. Design. For the past three years, the Bayfront Planning Organization has been working to transform and update the land that includes the Van Wazel, the Convention Center, Botanical Gardens, and the old G Wiz building. The idea is to transform it into a new entertainment district. Now that organization is looking for its design team. But while plans to create the area's next cultural attraction move forward, the community remains mixed on the effort. This definitely looks like it, uh, it could use a facelift and I'm sure some uh, uh, new modern uh, uh, you know, area for people to walk around and enjoy and restaurants and everything facing this beautiful bay would be a great idea. It's built up enough and any additional building up is a bad idea, but I feel pretty strongly about the overdevelopment in Sarasota. I've, I've lived here 11 years now and uh, it's gotten, to me, it's gotten worse every year. So. The request for consideration deadline is September 1st. Sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel.
Here's a sample of Tonight Show absolutely free. Yeah. This you actually baked yourself. Yes, this is, this is something I was doing, and then I realized that if you eat it, you get fatter. <laughs> I love big bling for little Ching. That's why I only wear Spectralite diamonds from Creative Gems. Or I wear nothing at all. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the blingiest of them all? You are, with Spectralite Diamonds, all gorgeous and affordable. Only found at Creative Gems, where you always get big bling for little ching. Now, sports. The Oakland Athletics were at home tonight looking to avoid a series sweep by the Tampa Bay Rays. At the top of the fourth, with runners at the corners, Wilson Ramos puts the Rays on the board with a fly ball off the right center field wall for the RBI single. Evan Longoria scores. But the Rays would not hold on long to the lead in the fifth. Rajai Davis puts the A's on the board with an RBI ground rule double. Bruce Maxwell scores. Oakland putting a nail in the coffin in the eighth with a solo shot to right field by Matt Joyce. The A's hold on for the win, ending the game 7-2. to two. Jacksonville Jaguars defensive end Dante Fowler has been arrested for battery and criminal mischief after getting into a confrontation with a man who made a comment about his driving. An arrest report says Fowler exchanged words with the man before hitting him, knocking his glasses off, stepping on them, and then taking the man's grocery bag and tossing it into a lake. Police say the man was not injured. Fowler played for the University of Florida and was the Jaguars' first round draft pick. Draft pick in 2015. At the Tour de France, defending champion Chris Froome has increased his lead after today's stage 17 in the French Alps. Second place rider Fabio Aru from Italy could not keep up with Froome and the other contenders. He dropped to fourth place. Froome remains the favorite to win when the Tour finishes Sunday in Paris. 
Also today, Germany's Marcel Kittel crashed and dropped out of the race. He was the leading sprinter in the tour after winning five stages. That's a look at sports. We'll have our winning lotto numbers right after this. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Being the caregiver for someone you love is truly a blessing, but sometimes you can lose a part of yourself. To be your best, for them and for you, it's important to have time to be able to recharge your batteries. When you call Tidewell Hospice, they can give you a chance to do just that, and with the peace of mind of knowing your loved one is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom-built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Once you get atrial fibrillation, you need to have a very close relationship with your primary doctor. Prevention is the whole ball game here, because once you have a stroke, you can't undo it. A year without stroke, it's a year that you can enjoy doing the things that you've worked all your life to finally get to do. You took care of yourself. You did what is necessary for you to be around one more year. And then next year, we'll celebrate one more year without a stroke. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. After nine years in prison, the fate of O.J. Simpson is expected to be heard tomorrow when Simpson will face a Nevada parole board, a group that has the power to set him free. Simpson was slapped with an up to 33-year sentence for a 2007 botched robbery. Now, at 70 years old, the prison says Simpson has been a model inmate, and even the victim from that robbery says he plans to speak in support of Simpson's parole release. But for the six commissioners on that board, Memories of the 1995 incident may be hard to ignore when Simpson was found innocent in the murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown and her friend Ron Goldman. It is one hot summer, but these chimps at the Kansas City Zoo know just how to cool off with some popsicles. <laughs> with the rising temperatures, zoo staff have been looking for ways to keep their animals cool and comfortable. And one way they've been doing that is by giving them water bottles and popsicles to beat the summer heat. Just like people do, the chimps are loving it, even the baby ones. Very cute. It may not be easy being green, but it is darn cute if you were this unique newborn pup 
A three-year-old golden retriever from the Scottish Highlands has recently given birth to a litter of nine puppies, including that little green one. The mint-colored dog was aptly named Forest by his owner. Veterinarians think the cause is exposure to a green bile pigment found in the placenta, which can stain a pup's coat when mixed with mom's amniotic fluid. Wow. Luckily, there are no known health risks involved with this condition, and the color will not last forever. It typically resolves itself within a few weeks of birth. I've had five golden retrievers in my life. None I've never green, had a green one. Never not a one. green one. I think it's lucky. It's like luck of the Irish. Maybe he is Irish. Yeah. Dude. That's where he came from. Yeah. <laughs> we have a chance of thunderstorms developing overnight and tomorrow morning's commute could have some rumbling thunder, but the next uh, seven days shows little change in our pattern. Maybe a little less chance on Monday and Tuesday, but this weekend is going to be hot and stormy just like the next two days will be. Not too bad. And it, we're saying that the puppy was born in the Scottish Highlands, so... Maybe See, so. Luck maybe of the swam Irish. across the Irish. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Trying to get there. Hope you have a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow.